Go check out IGSky.com if you want to get some cheap coins that are still around. Don't be afraid. Use the discount code ROSSI for 5% off at the checkout. Links that will be in the description below. But if you don't fancy buying coins, go check out G2A. Links are also in the description. Awesome little website. Go check it all out. Have an all-round good time. Let's get on with the video. Oh my god. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi 1990 here, and this is going to be a little bit of a different video from me today. What it's going to be is an 89 rated Lamana Lualua squad builder video. What I mean by that is obviously Lualua's card is a certain rating. With an attributes card, which you know are in the game and very much used, he gets a boost, as you will see. You've probably seen videos like 99 Pele, 99 Ronaldo, etc. etc. from various other YouTubers, which are awesome videos in my opinion. I love watching them. And I thought I'd try it with more unique different kinds of players. I've done this video before, it was either last week or the FIFA before, I can't actually remember, but Lawalua has got an upgrade, which is actually crazy scenes. But I'll just show you the team I've built around him. Um, I was originally going to use a team with Leeds as Bataka, and that's how this all started out. So I thought, why not go down a little trip down memory lane and use Lamana Lawalua. So we're going to start with the goalkeeper. Cannot remember for the life of me what league he's in. I think it's Mexican League. Let's just check. If I go to the Mexican League. Search my club would be nice. He is a... Yeah, that's him. Not a, not a great goalkeeper, but let's not lie. Played nine games with this team undefeated, which for me is crazy scenes. I was on a five-game losing streak, and I tweeted out saying, I don't know what's happened with me, or just FIFA's changed, or am I just shit? I don't know. Built this team, and I haven't lost the game, so I'm very happy with that. Like I said, for me, that's pretty darn good. The Mexican centre-back we've gone for is this guy. That's the reason we got the goalkeeper. And I wanted to use this card after seeing his, his stats and his work rates. Really impressed me in game as well. Really, really good player. And it's only cost 2.3k. Probably getting him cheaper than that as well. He's a really solid centre-back. The left-back we went for is an Argentine left-back. I don't think he's in the Mexican league. I can't actually remember what league he's in. It's... Oh, it's him, isn't it? It's... For, it's um, what the hell's he called? Vagioni. Vangioni or whatever. Really solid player again. Apologies if I pronounce anyone's names horribly wrong. That's just me. 88 pace. All round really good stats. Really, really underrated kind of player. I was in like 77 rating and his stats show better than that. But he's a really fun card to use. Now over this other side we're going to go for pace. Even though pace, I've said a number of times, isn't the be all and end all of this year's. Anuaha is still a class player. I'm not going to lie to you. Anuaha. Anuaha. Whatever you want to call him. The Beast. Absolute tank of a card. Really, really good. And I actually got in there for chemistry reasons. The guy I wanted instead of mid benefited that. The right back we've gone for is this guy right here. I was looking for a right back. I looked at the pace and looked at the height and thought, holy hell, that's a complete right back if I've ever seen one. 88 pace of six foot four. Are you kidding me? He was very impressive. I've used him in another team. So I also picked up a cheeky assist. I'm not too sure where that came from, but he got one. The centre mid we're going to go for is Leroy Fur. Now that's the reason, like I was saying, he was the reason behind Anuha. I wanted to try Leroy Fur this year. I couldn't manage to crack any long shots with him. I did that try a couple, but it never actually went in, unfortunately for me. He got two assists though, and he got a yellow card as well. So dirty little bastard. But he was a really solid player in that midfield. So he did all the right, all the right things. The centre mid in the Premier League plays for Norwich. And this card really surprised me how good he actually was. It is Malumbu. He was fantastic. A really, really strong kind of like powerhouse in that midfield. He's not going to get you the goals. He did get one goal and one assist. But he's a more sit-back midfielder, medium-high defensive work rate. He was a really cool card. And for 400 coins, I would recommend trying him out in like a, a cheap BPL squad build or anything like that. He was a really, really fun card to use. I'm moving over to the right-hand side here. Oh, the the right-hand side. The left-hand side. We've got Manchester City centre mid. It's not Yaya Torre. It is this guy, Zuccolini. I went for him because I want to try somebody different, and that's the reason for the Argentine kind of like defense over that side. I wanted to kind of like bring down the rating of this team a little tad, because if I'm checking the Aya Torre, I might be coming up against really, really strong rated defenders, and I thought it'll benefit me more having somebody like that in. And he was a really, really fun card to use. He's not cheap at 8.4k, maybe he's a bit less, a bit more, I'm not too sure. But he's a really fun card to use. Three goals, no sorry, three assists and one goal in nine games. Again, not a goal scorer, but a really, really solid card and did an absolute job for me. The left forward 
is actually going to be none of these beauties. It's going to be Balassi. Absolute brilliant card this year. Look at that for nine games. Nine games, eight goals, seven assists. That means he's contributed a lot of goals and assists, obviously, in the nine games he's played. He's done extremely well for the team. Really fun card. I recommend, even if you're not best at skilling, he's still a very, very good card nonetheless. He can dribble very well. 83 dribbling's not bad. 88 pace rapid. 79 physical is also quite nice. And it was a really fun card to use. So right four we're going to go for is my man Jordan Boutin. Attacker, Leeds, Hero, really, really cool looking card again. He got six goals and two assists in 10 games, 4.5k pay I paid. Looking like a really good player in real life as well. Leeds have played with him twice. And he looks like a really tricky kind of winger. So hopefully he keeps his five-star skills for a long time. He stays at Leeds and has an all-round good time. But we're going to go for a striker now. And this is where he enters the fray. He is DR of Congo. He is the beast himself. And it is Lamana Lua Lua. Not him, it's Lua Lua. If you look at his card originally, not a bad card at all. Very solid. Looks like a bit of a beast, not going to lie to you. He's got nine goals in nine games with two assists. He was a joy. But what we did to this poor chap, well, I wouldn't say poor, is chuck one of these bad boys on him. And I love the way EF broke it down. Uh, I'm not sure if it's happened years before, but if you look over to the left-hand side, you'll see plus 15, plus 15, plus 15, plus 15. For some reason, plus 14 on defending and plus 15 on physical, which means an overall boost of plus 15. And if my maths do not fail me, that makes 89 rated. Absolute beast card. If you can see him over on the right-hand side, I don't even need to put this attribute card in because I've done the games. So I'm not going to waste one because they are quite expensive, actually. Like 2k a pop. 94 pace, 85 shooting, 86 pace. Uh, 86 passing, 88 dribbling, 44 defending, don't matter, 84 physical, he was a god, and if you've got a player you really like in old Mati, maybe he's not the paciest, or he hasn't got the best shooting, or whatever, just try attribute cards out for a little bit of fun, I would definitely recommend giving it a go, while they're in the game, you may as well use them, I'm almost, I like a love-hate kind of thing with them, I feel as if if they weren't in the game I wouldn't miss them, but while they're here it's very fun, to just try out players like Lamar Lua Lua, just for shits and gigs, basically. And it was a really, really fun time. There'll be some goals at the end. It'll be probably team-based goals, because I scored some really sick goals with, like, Balassi and Bataka. A lot of the gameplay will be quite laggy. For some reason, my internet has been having a mare today, so I do apologise if that comes out in the video. But if you did enjoy, smash the like button. There'll be some music over the goals. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you next time. And do bye-bye. Boop! -bye.